Otis and how are you this morning? We're here again at the top of William Morris Drive just coming up to the, uh, the footpath that goes over the M4 but I had to come up the hill straight away to capture this amazing sunrise. Good morning sunrise and how are you this morning? Well I hope you're all well. It is a Sunday morning. We can peacefully across Newport over to the the Quantock Hills over there, the other side of the River Severn Estuary in England. Very misty Severn Estuary once again, but the visibility is getting better by the minute, and the sunrise is amazing. Good morning. And good morning to you, Otis. Are you ready for another adventure? A new day, a new adventure. Just your way, come on. Well, there's no plan this morning. We're literally just gonna go out for a walk. It might turn into a long walk. And you can tell us the weekend, can't you? The motorway is empty. Hello, Otis! Looking westbound, the motorway is empty. Looking eastbound, the motorway is empty. And over we go. A beautiful sunrise beaming through the trees. And there goes Otis running through the leaves. <laughs> Lots of smells this morning, Otis. Ground is very damp. We had a little bit of rain last night. Probably brought all the smells out to the ground for him. Oh, beautiful morning, absolutely. Right, young fella. Wait there, I'll put the lead on you. No, 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 wait. That's a good boy. Oh, and do you go anyway? Okay. Hey, wait there, Otis. It's a good boy. I know the road's not too bad this morning. It's very empty, actually. <laughs> okay, crossover. And for the youngsters who go out walking their dogs, don't forget on country lanes or anywhere where there are no footpaths. Try to walk on the right hand side of the road so you're facing oncoming traffic. They can see you better and you can certainly see them when they come in nearer. And the first port of call is the Christchurch viewpoint. <laughs> it's a good boy. There you go. This way. Otis, come on. Yep, it's time for some mammoth stick throwing. One, two, three. <laughs> it's a good boy. Oh look, somebody's planted a, a tree in the middle here. As if it's a, a remembrance tree. Oh, I just left his stick there for him. Oh, I wonder if that's for a pet. It might well be. And with the red rose in the ground too. 
Beautiful views and looking north this morning. So starting off in the northeast, you've got Wentwood area and Kemi's farm. Can't quite see the folly. Uh, as we pan left, we're heading, we're aiming towards Hereford there. And in the background, you've got the Skirid, Skirid Mountain there, just north of uh, Hereford. And in the foreground, then you've got the Blorange and the hills of uh, of um, Lanover. And in the distant, just coming in, we've got Pontypool and the hills, the rolling hills above Pontypool. And I believe you've got Comfredor just above the hills there, or on top of the hills. And in the foreground, you can just about make out uh, New Inn. And in the real foreground, you've got Caerleon, the River Esk. And you just about make out the Esk Bridge. There it is. Which crosses from Newport to Caerleon. And if I carry on panning around, got the rest of uh, Caerleon. See the meandering river esque and the hills Munith Mine leading up to Tumbalum. The Tumpeth Fort from Roman times and prior to that, originally Iron Age times. He's still on the hunt, <laughs> not quite sure what he's looking for. He'll let me know when he finds it. He's going around the Romulby bush at the moment. <laughs> Unfortunately, Wilson and Bay aren't open yet because, uh, oh, it's too early. But I would love a cup of tea and a cup of coffee. We'll have to wait till later on. But there is a water ball for Otis. <whistles> Otis, come get a drink. It's a good boy. This way. Otis, there you go. Come on, fella. Is that all you want? Okay. Oh, I sure could go. A bacon butty and a cup of tea. <laughs> Maybe later. Okay, let's cross over. <clears throat> there he is. A beautiful horse. You enjoying the view there, Mr. Horse? No problem. Looking over the, the M4. Lovely view of the sunrise. And the English coast is starting to appear in the mist. And this is Mr. Horse. He doesn't want to play on this bark. It's okay, Mr. Horse. He just wants to say hi. Let's move on before you upset the horse. Right, let's cross back over because we run out of pavement on this side. Well, we'll take a little stroll through the cemetery, I think. Otis, this gate. Good boy. And the, uh, the cemetery lodges actually used to be lived in. All boarded up now, unfortunately. Just like the chapel. All seen better days. And right up till the uh, the 90s, this was the main police aerial for the east side of Newport. And the transmitter system was inside the chapel. They left behind the uh, the UHF array at the bottom and the collinear for the VHF on the top. And where it used to 
go into the chapel is down here it looks like somebody's chopped the coaxial cables that are fed in there okay so it looks like they got new gates for the uh, for the cemetery lovely Cutis. new gates new bins it's all looking up it's all we need up here now uh, a new water point. Good boy. Now, as the morning's opening up, the sun is actually just been behind the clouds, so we were very fortunate there to uh, capture the lovely glow this morning. It's is eager to head over to St. Julian's Wood, I think, for a run around. There we are, Otis. As you said, put my gloves on because. It became very, very cold there as the sun disappeared back behind the clouds. And it was just gone. He's off to enjoy himself already. <laughs> it's a good boy. You wait there, Otis. Okay. Up and over we go. Wow. That's a good boy, Otis. It's very sticky mud this morning. I can actually feel my boots sticking as I pull my legs back up. Here we are. A stick for Otis. Otis! Ready for a stick? A one, a two, a one, two, three. Yay, well done. <laughs> Come on, boy, this way. Lovely blue sky there above Tumbalam and Macca Mountain now. Still very cold, though. I'm sorry if the camera's a little bit jittery, but uh, I've got my gloves on, on both hands. This <laughs> is taking in the beautiful view there. You can just about make out the uh, the St. Julian's pub alongside the River Esk as it meanders through Colion and St. Julian's. You've got the flats there, the block of flats at St. Julian's. In the background you've got the amazing stance of the Munith Mine, which is surrounding the Newport Borough. And on the end you have the Roman Age Fort there of uh, Tumbalum which is also an Iron Age fort. Now if we pan across there, we've got the Risker Valley. Back and mountain with the ITV and BBC transmitter up on top. To the left of it then you've got the Macken Valley. But back to the amazing view there we have in front of us. Of Otis and the River Esk. Okay young fella, come on, let's go. Here we are coming down to the the brook, or the stream, that runs through the centre of St Julian's Wood. Well, this is where it's been bridged by the St Julian's project team.
We've crossed this many times with you guys. Once again, over we go. I know there's lots of fox poo around here. Lovely trickle of uh, a mini waterfall. And this is the original bridge that was laid down, which was just uh, a trunk that was levelled across until this beautiful bridge was splendidly built. Okay, Otis, this way. I do have spotted the seats. I think he's wondering what they are. They're not reindeer, Otis. They are seats. Anything new? He takes a keen interest in. <laughs> it's a bench. Would you like to go and see it? Come on, let's go. Otis has just realised that there are two of them. Wow, he said, wow, they weren't here before. Before we carry on down the hill. Just going to take in the views. Once again, of Cullion Bridge, Cullion Village. The old Cullion Village there with the toll house and uh, the ship inn. The hills of Wentwood. And in the foreground, you've got uh, the Bell Inn. That's old, um, old Cullion. And then you've got the St. Julian's pub. We've done this many times before. We're for the hill right the way up to Christchurch Village, Holy Trinity Church, and the beautiful sun in the sky. Okay, Otis. This way. Let's head over to the woods, okay? Follow you. Good boy. <laughs> Where you are. That's a good boy. You checking out the new territories. Wow, and this must be the smallest rope swing in the world. <laughs> I would think Otis has been here lots of times, <laughs> leading the way through the woods. <sighs> Listen to all the birds out wishing us a, a good morning. In spring will be here in full flourish. We'll have the daffodils. We should have the daffodils in a couple of weeks actually. Followed by um, the wonderful woodland flowers, bluebells. I'm not sure if snowdrops come out this time of year. Whether they're uh, more of an autumn plant, but we'll uh, we'll get to see what plants fill this oasis of shrubland at the moment be wonderful. Looking forward to it. He's certainly <laughs> taking the wind out of my sails. I 
boaties are already at the top, just waiting. <sighs> It'll be worth the wait, I'm sure. What do you think, Otis? Is it worth the wait? Worth the, <laughs> worth the toil, I should say. I think it's this way, Otis. <sighs> well, I'm certainly warming up now. The gloves are off. <laughs> We're heading this way, Otis. Come on then, I'll follow you. It's quite nice walking through the bracken. It's quite welcome after walking through the mud. Uh, no, this way, Otis. <whistles> this way. That's a good boy. I don't know if you can make out the motorway. Just through the trees. So it's the M4. And it looks like this path that they've laid down is going to bring us right up to the entrance to St Julian's Woods from the Christchurch Road end near Beecher Park. Otis is loving it, he's chasing all sorts of things around. There are little robins bouncing around. I've seen about three together. Which I thought was very unusual. I need to try and capture them on camera. Come on, Otis. Fitted a new gate. Coyote. Oh. This way, young fella. Otis. <whistles> this way. Hey, this way. Oh, okay. What's the point of having a gate if you're going to walk around it? <laughs> I'll have to put you on your lead in a moment, young man. That's a good boy. And as you see, we're really close to the motorway now. Well, this brings us out to what was the very top of Pernell's farm. Right then, Otis. Under the motorway. As a rule, we usually travel over the motorway, don't we, with foot bridges and stuff. Here we are. Underneath the magnificent M4. You think how many tons of traffic is travelling above our heads. <clears throat> and aren't you also lucky that there's no echo here underneath. <laughs> Where are we heading now, Otis? It's a good boy. And the final gate, which is missing the gate before we enter Crochet's Road. Right, wait there, Otis. Okay, let's cross. 
a good boy. So if you want to travel from the east side of Newport near Christchurch, you can actually make your way to Beechwood Park, which is almost not touching a main road. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. To enter in to the park of Beechwood. Yay. Come on in, man. Okay. There you go. You're free. <sighs> Into the beautiful Beechwood Park. With a beautiful sun blowing through from the east. Woodland after woodland after woodland. Well, I'm not sure if I've shown you this tree before. I've shown you other trees, but this one was hit by lightning about 30 years ago. And as a kid, I remember reading about it. Oh, this is in his element now. In his park. I'm sure he believes it's his park anyway. So you would say, do all roads lead to Rome? Or do all footpaths lead to Beecher Park? This way, fella. <laughs> He's checking out where all the other dogs have been walking this morning. Come on, fella. Oh, it's this way. And the beautifully looked after green at the bowling club. An unusual view for us. I don't think we ever come in this direction towards the uh, the side of Beechwood House, but here it is. Isn't it magnificent? Well, I hear the Newport Amateur Radio Club or Newport Amateur Radio Society uh, are changing location. I think this would be an ideal spot, guys. wonder how much this would cost to rent. Rent a room there. And the elevation is absolutely amazing for radio waves. Wow. And when I was up here the other day with my hand held, I was picking up signals from the south coast. It's over 150 miles away. That's down in Cornwall from Newport. That's pretty amazing. Well, unfortunately, the cafe isn't open yet. Well, that was to commemorate Queen Elizabeth Silver a Platinum Jubilee. Why haven't I seen that before? Otis! Otis, this way! <laughs> I thought he was off in the cafe then. <clears throat> Maybe he's off to the doggy bar. 
Yes, it's open from nine o'clock, so it's not quite open yet. It's a good boy. In the art studio. The fitness is closed this morning. I suppose day off for uh, for those on a Sunday. Otis, would you like a drink? That'll be spotted pals. <laughs> Otis, this way. <whistles> Otis, this way. It's a good boy. Go have a play in a minute. <laughs> Whoa, come on, Otis, this way. Otis, he just want to play. Ah. <laughs> uh, Oh, Tess, this way. You having fun with your pals? <laughs> Good boy. Okay, this way, Otis. Boy. This way, Otis. I just noticed. Look at that, spring is definitely on its way. And here's the wonderful tree that Vicky loves. Well, we're going to sign off very soon. I literally just clipped. Uh, Otis lead on. Wow. Head over to Snowdrops, bluebells, purple flowers, yellow flowers, <laughs> and daffodils. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, cheerio from me. Catch up with you next time. And a cheerio from Otis. Bye.